More on this now. I'm joined via Skype from Wensleydale, North Yorkshire, here in the UK, by Sir Richard Dalton, former British ambassador to Iran. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us on the news hour. So, as we were explaining there, in terms of uranium enrichment, Iran are, I mean, they're in increasing the concentration level, but they are still a long way away from any sort of dangerous threshold. Uh, in terms of the comments we've been hearing from Mike Pompeo and President Donald Trump, what is your interpretation uh, of, of what's happening there? Does, I mean, is it regime change? Is it about weakening Iran? Or is it about saying, forget about the deal negotiate, negotiated by Barack Obama, we want a nuclear deal uh, negotiated by Trump? I think your correspondent was right that the main American objective uh, is a new deal. But they are also goading Iran by loading progressively more tough sanctions, including humiliating ones like sanctioning the supreme leader, calling the part of the Iranian armed forces, the Revolutionary Guards, terrorists. Uh, and it may be in the back of their minds that they are willing to attack Iran and promote regime change if they get an opening, if Iran gives them the chance. But the important thing to note is that what Iran has done is a minor turning up of the dial. It does not increase the risk of the proliferation of nuclear weapons. It is reversible, and it gives time for a new round of negotiations to start. Uh the, European, the Europeans are in an interesting position right now. Obviously, they share strategic interests with the United States in terms of fighting nuclear proliferation, but they have two completely different views of the nuclear deal. How, how does that get resolved? Well, it's going to be very difficult because neither the Iranians nor the United States in their present mood are going to back down. The United States wants in uh, as part of its global drive for hegemony and its uh, interest in overturning previous good alliances, as with the European countries in the Middle East, um, it wants to see something completely different. Uh, the Iranians, for their part, are not going to give in. Uh, they're not going to be humiliated. They're going to stand up for their national dignity. They would be prepared for a win win solution in which they get something and the international community, including the United States, gets part of what they want. But the win-lose deal, which is all the United States is offering at present, uh, is not a starter for them. That's why I welcome the initiative by President Macron, and I assume he's doing it in conjunction with European Union officials and with France and and with Germany and, 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 and Britain in particular, uh, to get time to launch new talks. There is a potential deal out there to be had under which Iran uh, goes back to observing all the limits which it had previously observed under the nuclear deal. And the international community uh, uh, encourages the United States to permit a renewal of waivers so that the bilateral, you know, the, the unilateral sanctions that the United States is imposing on countries seeking to import Iranian oil are lifted. The Iranian economy gets respite. Mr. Dalton, can I just ask you, from, from what you're saying, we've gone back in time. We're now back to, what, to 2003, where uh, Iran is using its nuclear program as leverage and the Europeans have to find some way of engaging with Tehran. We're back to 2010, 2012, yes. In that period, it was a standoff. We're in a standoff now. It was broken by realization that you have to have a win-win deal. And the kind of deal I've sketched out is the only way of opening up a wider negotiation that will deal long-term with United States concerns and with the security concerns of all countries in the region, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, UAE, the GCC countries as a whole, uh, and Iran. They need to be brought into a regional security dialogue, but that can only be done once we've overcome the present crisis over the nuclear deal. 
Thank you very much for sharing your insight with us. We appreciate it. Uh, former British ambassador to Iran, Sir Richard Dalton, joining us.